House Republicans on Thursday unveiled a bill that would make significant changes to the tax code. The biggest cuts are weighted toward corporations, and while many middle-class families would receive a tax cut, the benefits would be mixed, and some would probably end up paying more. The bill would reduce the current marginal income tax brackets to 4 from 7, 12, 25, 35 and 39.6 percent, and lower rates by increasing the income ranges that higher rates apply to. The top rate would be the same as it is now, except the income level at which it would apply would increase to $1 million for married couples. Here's how the new tax brackets would apply to taxable income of $500,000 for a married couple how $500,000 would be taxed income between $260,000 and $1 million would be taxed at a 35% rate. Income between $260,000 and $1 million would be taxed at a 35% rate. For a married couple filing jointly with $500,000 in taxable income. Current income thresholds are for 2018, and current rates are shown for those who are not affected by the alternative minimum tax. About 34% of filers at the $200,000 to $500,000 income level are currently affected, adding an average of $4,640 to their tax bills. Source Internal Revenue Service House Ways and Mean Committee While the rate applied to the lowest income bracket would increase, the first $24,000 for a couple would be deductible, meaning that those making up to that amount would pay no income tax. The bill would repeal the individual alternative minimum tax, which primarily affects households with incomes from $200,000 to $1 million, and would maintain preferential rates for investment income. It would also repeal the estate tax after six years, in the meantime doubling the amount of inherited wealth that is exempt from the tax to $11 million from $5.5 million. The proposal makes significant changes to deductions that are claimed by taxpayers to reduce the amount of income that is taxed. The plan would nearly double the amount of the standard deduction, to $12,000 from $6,350 for a single filer and to $24,000 from $12,700 for a married couple. Currently 30% of filers, primarily in higher income groups, choose itemized deductions over the standard deduction. Experts predict that share would decrease under the plan because the new standard deduction would be more than many people qualify for in itemizations. Deductions taken by income group Higher income filers tend to itemize deductions more tax filers choose the standard deduction adjusted gross income in thousands Higher income filers tend to itemize deductions more tax filers choose the standard deduction adjusted gross income in thousands Source Tax Policy Center 2014 IRS data to help pay for the lower tax rates and higher standard deduction, the bill eliminates most itemized deductions, keeping in place just three deductions for mortgage interest, charitable contributions and state and local property taxes. The mortgage interest deduction would be capped for newly purchased homes up to $500,000, and the property tax deduction would be capped at $10,000. One of the largest deductions that would be eliminated is the one for state and local income taxes, which primarily affects itemizing households in high-tax states like New York and California. Those who live in states with high property taxes could also be hit by the capping of the mortgage interest deduction. Itemized deductions by income group unreimbursed business expenses source Congressional Research Service IRS 2014 data. Ranges are for adjusted gross income. Amounts are as reported before itemized deduction limits were applied. The largest deduction claimed by taxpayers in lower to middle income groups is for medical expenses totaling at least 10% of income. While only a small share of lower income filers itemize their deductions, and many will benefit more from the new, higher standard deduction, some with significant medical bills could be hurt by the plan. While the bill nearly doubles the standard deduction, it would repeal the personal exemption, which is currently $4,050 per taxpayer and dependent claimed on a return. To help make up the loss for families, the bill increases the child tax credit to $1,600 from $1,000 and creates a new $300 credit for filers, spouses and non-child dependents. 
Here's an example Republicans gave of a middle-class family that would receive a roughly $1,100 tax cut for a family of four earning $59,000 current law house bill standard deduction. The standard deduction would double $12,700, $24,000 personal exemptions. Personal exemptions would be repealed, $16,200, $0 taxable income. This results in more taxable income under the house bill than current law, $30,100. $100, $35,000 tax liability before credits. It also results in a higher tax liability, in part because of a higher bottom rate of 12%, $3,563, $4,200 tax credits, but the child tax credit increases to $1,600 per child from $1,000, and adds a new $300 credit for parents, $2,000, $3,800 taxes owed under the house plan. This would result in a $1,163 tax cut for the family, about 2% of their after-tax income, $1,563, $400 sources IRS current thresholds for 2018 House Ways and Mean Committee but there are many variables that determine how these changes would affect families. The new $300 credit expires after five years, and the increased child tax credit won't make up for the loss in personal exemptions for many higher-income families who itemize their deductions. Income tax bracket levels are indexed for inflation to prevent filers from creeping into higher tax brackets. The standard deduction is also adjusted for inflation so it does not lose its value over time. After 2022, the bill would start using a different measure of inflation, called chain CPI, to calculate these increases. The bill cites economists as saying that chain CPI is a more accurate measure than the current CPI in use. But it is also a slower-growing measure of inflation, so the change would result in a tax increase over the long run. Change since 2002 measures of inflation source Bureau of Labor Statistics the personal exemption is currently indexed to inflation, and the child tax credit is not. The bill would repeal the personal exemption and increase the child tax credit, indexing the refundable $1,000 portion to the change CPI. The most expensive change in the bill is a reduction of the corporate tax rate to 20% from 35%. The White House has said that this cut will result in benefits for workers at an average of $4,000 per household, but many experts are skeptical of those effects. The bill also limits to 25% the tax rate for pass-through businesses, sole proprietorships, partnerships and S-corporations that currently pay taxes at the individual rate of their owners. Families that own businesses that qualify them for the lower rate would benefit from this change, though certain personal service businesses like law, accounting and consulting would not be eligible. Additional Sources Tax Policy Center Tax Foundation